My life story. I was born in Crystal Springs, Ohio on February 27, 1994. During this time, my mother and father were having some trouble with their relationship. My mother left my father when I was two, taking me with her. I spent time with my stepfather, David Pfeffer, until I was four years old. After I left my stepfather's home in 1998, I spent some time with Dyfus until I was five. When I turned five in 1999, I found out my stepfather had died of lung cancer. I later moved in with my grandma. After a one-day trip, I was in the place I now call home. I went to school at Haddon Township Elementary, where I went to school until the day I turned 12. When I turned seven, my grandma got a job in Camden as a skate coach, which she still has today. And I went there every day with her since day one. My mom came back into my life when I was eight in 2003 with her husband, Richard Stewart Teach II. I do not like him that much because he verbally exposed me and the rest of my family to things we were too young to know. My grandma kicked them out of the house when she found out about this behavior. Our family went to visit Ohio several times each year, usually during Christian holidays and New Year's. During those visits, I met people I did not seem to know. On my mother's side, I met Jerry and Ralph Sell, their kid Carol, as well as her husband Rick. On my father's side, I met Keith Jr., my other grandparents, and my brother Andrew. My brother Jesse came into my life when I was nine, and he showed me the bootleg stuff, which I prefer over the company print. I enjoy them because it's cheap and tastes better than the original stuff. When I was 13, I moved back to Ohio with my mother and Jesse. I moved back that same year after my mother was diagnosed with cancer. I went back to my old home, which was not as good as before I left. My mother died when I was 14 in April 2008, which saddened me a lot. However, this was not the worst time in my life. A year after that, I got accepted to my first job, which was at HopeWorks in Camden. I came there several days. I had to miss a few. I had this job ever since. What I usually do here is try to learn about Flash or web design. The people are usually nice. I guess you could say that my life was pretty good even though I had some sad times and that I can always do better in life. However, no one can change anything in the past so I'll just try to do better in the future. My hopes is to go to community college like Camden County and then after that go to an expensive college such as Rowan University for further degrees in either electronics or writing so I can get a good job that pays enough money to fix the economic problems in areas like Camden, Philly, and East LA, and still have enough money to feed my family and then retire. If that does not work, I plan on trying to get a golf and then enter in tournaments while having a cheap job so I can have enough money to pay for my family. Now. If these paths do not work out, I have an idea of writing a good book, although I don't know how that is going to turn out since my writing skills are not that good. I know that whatever my future holds, I'll be able to manage.